Welcome everyone, uh, this is Luis Martin, the art engineer, and welcome to this very special uh, collage happy hour, collage dream session. Uh, behind the camera we have... The Chunky Baker. The Chunky Baker. Uh, listen, I am an artist, but I'm also a culture bearer, and that means that it's my responsibility as a son, an uncle, an artist, to carry on certain traditions like the Day of the Dead. So welcome, I hope you guys uh, are inspired by some of the things you're gonna see. And if this is your first time being exposed to an altar, don't be afraid, it's an invitation, it's an activated space, but we'll talk about that more in a minute. So the Day of the Dead, the Day of the Dead is an ancient Mexican tradition that uh, predates Mexico. It's from the indigenous people of the area and it's a day where we remember and celebrate uh, our ancestors and we connect with them, right? We think about death not as the end of life, but like the proverbial caterpillar, right? Not, not the worm, the caterpillar. We think about the caterpillar that he thought it was the end of the world, but then he turned into a magnificent butterfly, right? So we think about it in that aspect. It's a great way to frame death and uh, the next step. So this is the altar, and this is a uh, somewhat of a traditional altar. Uh, the part of Mexico my family's from, Merida, uh, has a slightly different take on it. They call it Hanan Pishan, which means food of the soul. And it's a little bit, uh, it's just the same. It's celebrated on October 31st, but we're celebrating Halloween here. So come a little closer and I'll give you a little tour. So in your altar, you usually have pictures of the people you want to commemorate, right? So we have a few pictures of my stepmother's mother, Elvis's grandparents, we have my sister's father, we have friends, we have our uh, old <laughs> pets, Mushu and Lola, we have pictures of Elvis's dad who recently passed. So even when it's fresh, even through these tumultuous times, uh, it's a great time to take a moment and be like, oh, you know what? Uh, the end is in the whole story of our lives, right? Um, so I kind of want to also share a little bit of the stories of the people who are here. Um, this is an image of Dalila, and I take a picture of her back. This is from when I was in high school, and she was this beautiful artist at my school, and I never met her because I was really intimidated, and I never had the courage to go up and introduce myself. But then one day, we met at an event, this event, and it changed my life because I was like, oh, she thinks I'm cool and we can hang out. And the next day, she was going to France. And that same day, somebody called me and they said, hey, did you hear about Dalila? And I said, no, what happened? She was in the TWA flight going to France. And I thought, oh. And that was such an important moment because at that time as a teenager, like many other teenagers, especially arty ones, I was going through some crazy times. I was kind of suicidal. And I thought, wow. Let me celebrate this person's life by, by taking ownership of the beauty of life, right? And, and I took courage to go on. So this is the type of stories that carry on through the Day of the Dead, right? The TWA flight did not make it to Paris. The TWA flight did not make it to Paris. It was leaving from New York, and she was going to Paris. So it, it was pretty tragic, uh, and it's a story that I like to keep alive because that's part of the things that we like to uh, remember, right? So we don't forget people. We also have Elvis's dad, who passed earlier this year, and we remember him as someone who's super positive, super happy, who never allowed his sickness to uh, take away from his spirit. Uh, what, what, do you, what would you put on the altar for your dad? Well, for him, we always had um, coffee, because that's his favorite thing. So we have a little cup of coffee there for him. He uh, grows... Uh, coffee uh, well he used to grow coffee in our farm in um dominican republic and he also did this colador over there which is um kind of like a, a coffee machine so you pour the coffee in the little sock and then you pour hot water over it <laughs> and then it uh makes hot coffee very high technology so you see the altar is somewhat of a really fun active space right and i love that word active because by turning on the candle turn out some incense, putting out some coffee, putting out some water, it all of a sudden becomes a activated space where it's not just a picture of a person on a wall. No, this is a place where you can come and reflect and say hi and always feel connected. So I encourage you, even though you uh, may not be Mexican, even though uh, 
death might scare you a little bit, I encourage you to uh, perhaps activate a corner of your house and dedicate it to someone that you want to remember, someone who you want to honor, right? And that's how traditions are passed by. I invite all of my Latinx brothers and sisters to carry on this tradition, but also I invite you to add your spin on it because we were more similar than we are different. So with that being said, um, let's go to the other activated space, my studio, and let's collage, shall we? It's really far. So when I die, please don't offer me coffee in the altar, bury me with coffee. <laughs> so I just went to uh, Walgreens, and they didn't sponsor this, by the way, and I just printed some pictures, all right? So it's very easy. You don't have to get all fancy. They don't have to be heirloom pictures. If you can do that, great. If not, don't worry about it. So I got some pictures, and also, let's just work with what we got. You don't have to get fancy. Don't go buying magazines. Everyone has one of these. As a matter of fact, this was given to me by a friend yesterday through the mail. Travel and Leisure. I found this one, and yeah, I did a little research. I, I bought a, a book on roses at a thrift shop, um, and picked up some things here and there. So, all you need is scissors, not a pen. Um, I use my very fancy scalpel, and um, my double-sided tape. You've seen me, if you hung out with me before, you know, I swear by these things, these are our tools. But you can also just use scissors. No need for fancy things. Um, so come on over, and I'll show you. I just want to start mentioning, some people are saying hi. Hey, what's going on over We have there? Raquel saying hello, guys. Matthew <gasps> Horner saying hello. Raquel, I can finally see your face. Elena is saying good morning from Perth, Western Australia. It's 9 a.m. Oh, over Australia, there. Australia, Matt, I see you. Helena, Helena, I love you. Thank you so much for um, taking our classes. I can't wait to see your work. Is that Patty over there? Patty saying hello. How it's going on? Chopper Bunny, hey, it's Jaylene. Is that Jaylene? Jaylene, did you recognize anyone in that altar? Chloe, what's... Oh, I know who Chloe is. Um, so let me show you. So, again, I just went and took a picture of uh, my grandfather. And actually, can I share that I didn't grow up with an altar. My family didn't put up altars when they came to... Uh, the United States. But very recently, uh, I actually did the pilgrimage and went to Merida. Hey, what's going on over there? And I met family there who had an altar for the Day of the Day while we were there. And I've always been a fan, obviously, but I never felt like I had the right. So I'm telling you, you have the right to celebrate your ancestors. So turn on a candle, put on a picture. Um, and if celebrating ancestors is too personal right now, pick a hero. So one hero that I have is this person right here. This is Sylvia Rivera. She was one of the very first Latinx transgender activists. She was an activist and she did not care. She had nothing to lose. She was actually one of the first people to throw bottles at cops during the Stonewall riots here in New York. So she is super important and she is just getting uh, her name out there, uh, along with uh, Marsha P. Johnson. They were one of the same. They were friends and they were fighting for our rights, rights that I am enjoying right now, Elvis and I as husbands. Um, so this is someone I want to remember. This is someone I want to honor. So let's let's do two. Why not? We have people from Janet from saying hello from Owego. Hey, Denise. Owego. Saying so excited. Hey, Denise, what's going on? So you guys, you guys can leave this workshop. What do we do? We just, we're just going to go through a magazine. My favorites are, you know, Travel and Leisure. This is the one that I found in the streets somewhere in New York. Uh, but you want a magazine that will have things that inspire you, right? So don't be too precious about it. I always love Sky, you know that. And this is an element, right? It's always nice to put the elements in your collages. So this can represent air, right? Beautiful pictures. Oh, I like this guy much better. Look, it looks like a mermaid. So again, we are thinking about the Day of the Dead, but we're also kind of just hanging out, taking our time, and um, it's Paris. So you guys, this is our first live stream on YouTube, on collagedream.com, so I'm so excited that you guys were able to join in and we figured it out, kind of. So, what am I doing here? Let's see. Elvis, what would you want on your offering? What, 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 what should we bring to your offering? 
Definitely lots of desserts. Oh, that's right. Lots of desserts. What's your favorite dessert? I love cookies, cupcakes. <laughs> what are you, five? Okay, so earlier, if you missed it, I said, you know, sometimes it's uh, it falls on certain people, especially if you're an artist, to uh, become the culture bearer in your family, right? To be the person, look at this, to be the person that passes on traditions and stories of our ancestors. Talk, talk about ancestors, look how beautiful, the old and the young, it's just meant to be. Um, check that out, that's beautiful. So when you're collaging, look for nice shapes, look for nice colors, don't be precious. I'm, right now, oh, see this is just so atmospheric, this is beautiful. Okay, so I think that's enough to start. So I'm going to start with my grandfather, right? And as I said earlier, if your relationships with your departed aren't that great, that's okay. Um, you know what, I'm going to do something special with this one. This is a fun technique, you guys. Just make lines around your person, or around your object or your flower, and we're gonna make some rays. That's gonna be really fun. So apparently, this is a picture of my grandfather when he graduated some kind of course right before he came to the United States. And I tell you, I never met this man. I've only heard kind of <laughs> bad things about him, but through art, through this exercise, through the Day of the Dead, I can kind of make amends with that, right? I can kind of start a different narrative. I can start a different dialogue and conversation with my grandfather. Even that's one-sided, but it'll benefit me, so I'm gonna talk all I can. Okay, so here we go. And look at his shoes, the shoes were so cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna start taking them off and look what happens. All of a sudden, they're like rays. Right? He almost starts looking like the Virgin Mary, La Virgen de Guadalupe, that uh, we so much love in our Mexican culture. There we go. So I am Chicano, my parents are from Mexico, Elvis is Dominican, and uh, it's slightly different, right? You guys don't celebrate the Day of the Dead in such a um, flamboyant way. No, not, not the Day of the Dead, no. So it's kind of fun to kind of, you know, uh, merge your traditions if you marry someone who is uh, from a different religion, different culture. Um, that's always fun. Okay, here we go. Check this out. Things are happening, my friends. Look how fast that is. Even if you put this against, oh, I don't know, blue sky, how fun would that be? So there are um, <laughs> there are some cultural references already with uh, you know Coco that Walt Disney made. Um, it's cool. I wasn't particularly fond of it, but everyone cried. I was like, I don't get it. Um, so look at that. Okay, all of a sudden, forget the altar. It became like a very like modern contemporary altar, right? So let me take care of this right here. Um, Someone's sending lots of cookies and cakes and cupcakes for me there. There you go. When you die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, also, you know what's really interesting? For me, um, the Day of the Dead is also very political, you guys. Because picture this, right? I'm Mexican-American. I grew up in this country seeing not so positive images of, of Mexicans. So when I see a holiday with so much beauty and opulence and... Opulence, I love that word. And, uh, and light... I, I, I'm excited, and that makes me feel like, yeah, that's who we are. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Look at this. So, you'll find beautiful images, and don't be afraid to cut them up, my friends. Just go to town with them. And if you really like an image, this is the whole thing about collaging. If you really like an image and don't want to cut it up, go to Kinko's, go to the Staples, and make some photocopies in color, and it's just the same thing. And then you can actually create a series, and that's always fun. So I'm excited to see some of our Instagram family here too. So share with me who um, you guys out there would uh, create an altar for. Would it be a family member? Would it be a cultural hero in your neighborhood, in your community, a rock star? Could be I, your pet. Could be your pet, right? We did our pet. Um, you know, I see a lot of uh, Frida altars happening, which is kind of fun. 
But who else is out there? Who would you do it one for, Elvis? Other than family. I'm not sure. I haven't mm. thought about that. Mm. I have to think about it. Yeah. Matt Horner is saying my pets. Yes. Matt did a fantastic altarpiece. You guys can check that out at collage.dream on Instagram. And also, Christine Panin did a great uh, altarpiece that I just uh, unveiled yesterday. Uh, so check that out. Um, all of a sudden, we're multi-platforms so now. I have to be like, it's on Instagram. Check this out. All right. I mean, what like else I was do you saying, want? two husbands and father. Yes. That's beautiful. Um, check that out. That's kind of fun, right? So... Great, we have three, look, see, we have three things and already we have a collage that's kind of interesting, right? So another tip, what is it? Insetting, right? So create a little slit here so you can just put it in and it looks like he's coming out of the flower. And again, I don't know what he would have thought of this. He might have thought we were crazy, but it doesn't matter. This is for me. This makes me feel closer to him in a Can positive way. Can saying she lost her dad um, this year too, but tonight I'm doing one for my mom, lost 10 years ago. Oh, I love that, Denise, yes. Yes, and honestly, I hope we can always feel close and feel our family um, connected to us, right? Thank you, Denise. So this is kind of fun. So usually um, altars are very symmetrical, but if you want to be cool, if you want to challenge yourself, try to do something asymmetrical, why not? I'm into that. All right, this is cool. I like where this is going. So let me see, do I want more flowers? So my grandfather, apparently, um, enjoyed his vices, you guys. So, <laughs> so let me see if I can find like a cigar. Um, Jen is saying uh, Chris R, or maybe she meant Christ? <laughs> <laughs> what about? <laughs> you made one for Christ? Very good. I like your enthusiasm. Christine's Jen. work was absolutely magnificent and large too. Yes, who said that? Uh, Janet. Right? Chloe saying hello, Instagram family. Hey, I think that is our Christine over there as uh, Chloe. So look at this. This is really fun, Raquel right? saying uh, Elvis remind everyone to make sure they are in live chat too, not top chat. I don't know what that means. <laughs> We're new to this. We have no idea what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? Not top chat. Ooh, we're gonna have to Google that after this, right? I'll let me know what that means. Um, so another thing that I almost forgot to mention last time and almost forgot to mention this time, when we were in Mexico, we had Day of the Dead bread and it was so good. It's called Pan de Muerto. Pan de Muerto. You guys, don't get it here because it's really bad here in the States for some reason. It's just like weird bread. But over there, like they put um, almond and tons of sugar and the... <laughs> Apparently, and I can attest to this, the best Day of the Dead bread, Pan de Muerto, is at Costco. <laughs> um, we have issues, you guys. But, uh, but yeah, and uh, we tried it. It was really, really good. So if you make it to Merida, let's go to Costco and try on, try on, and try the, the Pan de Muerto. If you want to wear it, go for it, too. I wonder what that meant. The live... Oops. Okay, let me sell this. Let me sell this over here. So Raquel was saying in top chat, they will not see or be part of all the chat. <gasps> you guys, listen to Raquel. Thank you, Raquel. Good lookout. And look, I'm, I'm using your, um, your beautiful National Geographic. I tag them, hoping they'd give me like a scholarship and send me to Africa or something to make collages. Um, so yesterday I did something really cool with the National Geographic that I got. I used this border and you know what, just like the altar in the Day of the Dead, um, it's, the, the altar is actually like a portal. It is a frame to, to connect, right? So I like that idea. So let's play with this and use this frame. So I'm going to put them to the side and I still, I do want to do a quick one for, uh, Sylvia Rivera. If you don't know her, please look her up. Don't let her be forgotten. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for people like her. Being able to collage on a Friday night with my husband and my iced coffee. And you guys. <laughs> so thank you, Sylvia. Okay, check this out. So this is fun, right? Look at that. And when you, the whole, the magic about art, the magic about painting, the magic about collaging, 
is in the layers, you guys. The layers and the juxtaposition of random stuff, it just creates something special. So look at that. It's coming out of this frame. I like it. I'm gonna commit to it, I'm gonna marry it. Don't be, don't overthink it. Because this is really fun. So if you guys are having fun, um, please support these free programs. If you're at the website, you can go to the very bottom of the page and uh, treat yourself. And by treating yourself, you, uh, you keep us in business. So there's a calendar, there's some art. What else do we have there? I forgot. Collage kit subscriptions. Collage kits, but on the actual page we have, we don't have that, but you can find that picture. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a fun way to support this passion project of ours. Um, we have a great community of artists. Denise is saying, is it customary to put a pic of yourself? No. So, you know, that's an interesting question. No, you don't because it's only the, the person who's passed. But if you want to With feel closer the to them. No, not at all. That's not me, by the way. But um, let's put something else. Um, but I mean, if you want to feel close to them, right? I want some pops of color somewhere. You know, I love my so birds. So Sue is saying, my daughter passed away February 4th, 2017. I have her ashes and an altar and religious items, along with a ros rosary she made. Oh, that's I beautiful. didn't think to celebrate Day of the Dead. I will now. Oh, that makes me so happy. Absolutely. And what would you put at the altar for her? What did she like? What made her happy? What makes you happy when you think about her? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful way. Really Original part of the saying, I would like a bag, please. <laughs> a bag of what? <laughs> um, I'm looking for flowers, you guys. I mean, I have a whole book here, but I like I like it when I find flowers randomly. Check that out. Yeah, the music ended. So yesterday we had a, a live, and I lost it. Oh, you know what? I found stamps. I thought that was kind of cool. Look at this. These are cool. And I thought, yeah, these are like being sent out, right? So yesterday we had a, a live, and usually I play music, but yesterday I felt bold, and I played Sade, and I almost lost it. I, I was so distracted, I, it almost turned into karaoke, and it wasn't good, you guys. So, now you know, coffee and Sade in my altar, please. Check this out. Those are your weaknesses? Uh, no, those are the things that make me come alive, so, please. Conjure me with Sade and coffee. Yeah, I think this is cool. So this is where it gets fun, right? The more you add, the funner, sillier it can get and dive into that. Why the heck not? It's almost like a postcard. Exactly. Well, that would be a great postcard. Thank you. Let's see. I just, I want like a blue or something. I need some contrast here, you guys. So, I know you've probably seen my videos and I keep talking about this, you guys. These boxes, be careful with these boxes because um, this is a slippery slope and you will become a hoarder. But you always find fun stuff here. Like, look at that. This is just the blue that I needed. And it's like a towel. Like, sure, why not? So see how this random pop-up color just kind of creates something? The certain je ne sais quoi. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side now. Now I'm going to work on my Sylvia Rivera. So again, this is coming from a di this is coming from a different place, right? Because this is someone that I know, someone that I have a connection to. I owe a lot of gratitude to this person because I'm here also because of him, right? Um, and then I have Sylvia Rivera, who I also feel very connected to on a totally different way. And I want to point something out. This is one of the very few pictures of her. She died homeless. Uh, a cancer, she had a very tragic life. Um, but look what she has in the background of her little house. She has an altar, she has an altar for her friend, uh, Marsha uh, P. Johnson, who was murdered because she was a, a sex worker here in New York. Um, but look how she's remembering her friend. Isn't that beautiful? There's a candle, there's a virgin. And little, is, little would she know that they would name a park after Marsha right across the street from us. So it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing. You never know. How things are gonna shape up. Pia is saying she loved your singing yesterday. Oh, thank you, Pia. Don't encourage me because I will I will sing again. 
Um, so I'm gonna use this because this is a perfect background. Sometimes you find the perfect background that you just need to do that and bam, right? Like, look at that, frame that. Um, but I do want to add some stuff. So again, I'm gonna nestle something. Oh, look, she has a candle here. I love this. And I had not noticed that she had an altar until I printed the picture. So if I put this here, it's a nice pop of color. But can you imagine to be one of the first people to um, throw a bottle at the police during Stonewall? But this is the thing, see, you don't know you're living in historic times until you're gone and someone else thinks of it, right? And remembers and stuff. Like right now, we are literally living in historic times during this pandemic, during all of the craziness that's happening. So um, you just don't know what part you're playing, right? You just don't know. So let's start a movement. How about that? Let's start a movement. It can be a collage movement. It can be a, an awakening. A paper revolution. That's what it's going to be. All right. Yeah, I've had too much coffee. Okay, look at that. And what did I see? I saw that I have some beautiful sky. And if you haven't seen me, you know that I love my CDs. My CDs are like the perfect template um, to play with. So this creates a perfect circle. See, that's the whole thing. You don't need any fancy equipment, fancy material. You just need to create a safe space for yourself to play. So I hope you're playing. Gee, I'm just impatient here. It's Friday, you guys. I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with us on a Friday. Where else would we be? Honestly, we would be right here, <laughs> collaging or um, watching uh, Kim's Convenience. We just started watching that. Have you seen that? We finished 227, which kind of changed my life. Look at that, two for the price of one. Oh man, look at that. Is that the Dakota? So this is almost even more fitting than this guy because it's New York and, and they were New Yorkers. But I don't know if I want to pay homage to New York. That's so much cooler, right? But we can use this. So this is the base. This can be the base for my altar for Sylvia. Love that. Also, can you imagine just what Sylvia would be saying right now about our respect and, and more understanding for transgender people and just the dialogue that's happening that wasn't happening or even close to when she was alive? I'm telling you, sometimes we don't see the fruit of our labor. Love it. And I have some um, dots here that I just want to play with. Isn't that fun? I think I'm saying it's Saturday in Australia. Oh, what are you doing on a Saturday? Are you? Can you go out? You know, we we've been watching. What were we watching? We were something. We were watching something about Australia. And you guys walk outside, and there's like cockatoos and like exotic fauna. It's so amazing. Here we just have pigeons. And squirrels and rats. Was it Love in the Spectrum that we were watching? Love in the Spectrum. Oh, such a great show. So look, I found pink, I found blue. And since I'll get fancy and I'll use my little clipper here. So you still have tons of time. Uh, the Day of the Dead is November 1st. The Hanal Pisha, which is the one we celebrate in Yucatan is uh, the 31st, like I said, um, but you have time, so if you can go print some uh, pictures that make you happy to honor your, your people who have passed, our ancestors, uh, you still have time. So obviously you still have time to figure out who you want to honor. Oh, I'm loving this. Helena's saying it's beautiful, come visit. <gasps> Do not How many hours is that? Do not tell me. It's like three days or something. You, you get on the plane one day and get there next week. The longest next week. week. <laughs> the longest trip we've taken is uh, to Thailand. That was like what, eighteen hours? No, it was less than that. 
Well, that makes me feel better. Okay, so I'm also gonna add a stem here. Good to make a connection. Good to make a connection. Well, you should come to New York too. New York is here. <laughs> um, we've been here forever, so it's not as uh, exotic for us. But but I do love New York. I've been trying to get away for 20 years, and I'm still here. Check that. I'm not fun. All right. So, anytime you're stuck, put a flower. Flowers can um, hide a multitude of sins and just make everything gorgeous. So I'm gonna put a flower, and I think we have two. Oh, oh my God! I got a picture. We have two. Oh, here we go. Collage altars. All right. Let's see what we do here. I think I lost my. Late, so I'll use another one. So you don't have, so this is really intricate, you guys. You don't really have to follow everything. You can just kind of loosely draw around it and um, take it out. So I usually use an ergonomic blade, one that has kind of curves to your fingers. And oh my god, does it make a difference? I just realized I'm using this, and it's so hard. It's right next to the red cutter. Oh, thank you. Elvis. See? Everyone needs an Elvis, you guys. Um, okay. There we go. Uh, oh my. See how much faster? So, this is actually from a company called We Are Memory Keepers. If you can get your hands on this, or, you know what you can do too? If you put a bunch of tape around here, and even cotton, and then more tape, just so it's a little bit squishy, it'll relieve a lot of tension. So... Um, think about that, if it feels a little too forced on your hands. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no. Fantastic. There we go. And one thing I recommend too is if you can spread things out, you know, try to, um, John is saying, I'll be in New York City November 5th and 6th. We'll meet at our usual hideaway, right? I love it. Are you going on tour again, Janet? Janet tours with, um, who's that writer? <laughs> John Herbert is saying, cheers from Brazil. Hey, John. Oh, that's another place I'd love to go. Hint, hint. No, uh, how is Brazil, my friend? I hope everything's good there. Let's see. Yes, there we go. Okay, cool. Now I want I want to make a frame, perhaps. I don't know. But I just want something drastic. Okay, this is kind of fun. Way too many squares. I just want something that'll be kind of, like, outrageous, right? Because she was somewhat of an outrageous character. This is kind of outrageous. Fish is outrageous. So I'm saying, love your work and stay in my home. Oh, thank you. See you next week. <laughs> All right, let's see. We can put on some... Hmm, wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. This is weird. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, we're almost done, and then we're gonna take a look and um, see what happened. See what we created. What um, other traditions, Elvis, did your family uh, observe or celebrate that you think of when you think of family? I mean, for my family, everything is about food. Yeah. So usually we would have huge gatherings just for like celebrations. Like what? Like uh, Christmas, I guess? Christmas, Thanksgiving. Any random Saturday that we just wanted to get together. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I don't come from a huge family, so that was really weird when I joined your family and that would take place. I'm like, what are these people doing? Um, but that's where I go, oh, check this out. So I'm having fun now. This is cool. It almost creates a moon shape. And uh, the moon symbolizes femininity. It symbolizes mystery. So when you're creating your collages or your altars, Think about symbolism. If you don't have a picture of someone that you want to honor, think about the symbols that represent them. 
right? So if you do want to do an altar for your little puppy and you never take a picture of them or you can't find one, put their favorite food, put their collar, it's something that, it's, it's really about you. Even though we're celebrating these people, it's really about you. So, I think I like this. I think I have a collage. Okay, so, do I wanna put this here? I always, you know, there we go, is that cool? This creates the three dots, the triangle. That's, it does the two dots, the three dots, the three dots, you guys. So whenever you guys are in a pickle, try to create a triangle, right? Um, by doing this, you kind of create some geometry. Um, and that's always fun. So let's see. Let me continue with the moon theme. Maybe it can be like a half moon here. Voila. Love it. All right, so this is my collage, my friends. Let's see. So I made two. One for my grandfather, again, whom I didn't have, who I never met and heard weird stories about. But I want to honor him because I am here in many ways because of him. So thank you, sir. And I hope you are having a great time wherever you are. And I've made a collage uh, that I like. And I'll put up in my, in my studio. And then I have another altar collage to someone that uh, means a lot to me, Sylvia Rivera, who, like I said, was an activist, one of the first Latinx activists for transgender people. Um, had a tragic life that will be remembered and, uh, and fought. So thank you. And uh, this is my collage, you guys. So when you guys make your collages, again, find symbolism, find colors. If you can't find a picture, use a substitute image uh, that represents them. And again, it's all for you. It's all for you. So, uh, this so we have Denise saying, do you want to see all these by November 1st and 2nd? Yes, I would love to see them before um, before then, so please share them. Chloe's share saying them. Uh, horns? <laughs> yeah, it's actually it represents a moon, <laughs> but yes, horns too. <laughs> Pia's saying fabulous bow. Love Thank bow. you, Pia. Thank you. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know right now, because people always ask questions right when we hang up, and then I'm like, oops. Um, but again, this is just my thing. This was the Day of the Dead session. Uh, you are invited to take part of the celebration. Doesn't matter if you're Mexican or not. Uh, we are more similar than we are different. Um, beware of those horns. <laughs> I can actually see this. With, with Instagram, I can't see. Um, all right, so this is Luis Martin and... Chunky Baker here. <laughs> Much love. Bye. Thank you, you're welcome.